Good afternoon guys, thanks for joining us. This is going to be another quick video about Catalyst and the 400 series controllers from Sircon. In this video I'm going to cover a pretty cool feature built into these controllers which is the, their gateway functionality and I'm going to show you how to use Catalyst to um, use that gateway functionality and do some pretty cool things. So um, before I start I'm going to describe what we have here. Basically, um, in this quick example, I'm going to have a LAN sensor as well as a Modbus sensor connected to the um, 410 controller. And then I'm going to read the data from them and then send it to a third system, which is in this case, it's going to be a, a display, a touchscreen display in this case. Or it could be a, a different BAS system, it doesn't really matter. I just wanted to show you that you can bring in different uh, data from different systems perform functionality on them, you know, logic on them or, or or not, and then pass it on to different systems or use it locally in the logic of SEC 410 um, to turn things on and off or do whatever you wish. Okay, so let's start. I'm just going to quickly go over the catalyst to start off with to show you what I've done. So I've done um, a, a few pages here just to bring in some data. So you can see I've brought in a couple of analog data from the SCC 410. I'm going to call them uh, lawn temperature or lawn humidity. And then um, these are some logic that I did which is not really required for this demo but it's there just to show you that you can have multiple pages in Catalyst residing with, within the uh, 410. So there's really very few limitations there. You can do a lot with the 410 which is an excellent value for its price point. Okay, and then the last two pages are my gateway blocks that I've done, gateway functionality that I've done. So I just have two pages. I just uh, read some information from, for example, in this one, I'm reading information from the Modbus sensor and I'm dividing it by 100. In this page, I'm doing a min-max average on the data between the LAN sensor as well as the Modbus sensor and then I'm shooting it to a third system which is in this case it's going to be my display but like I said it could be a different BAS system okay so you can see there's some select block I've used I mean this logic can be as complicated or as simple as you want it to be I just wanted to do something quick for this video so this is what I've done all right so you can see the Catalyst program is very simple here and you can very quickly put it together. So that was the catalyst part. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what um, what the third third party display is showing. So this is just a, something quick I put together. Um, basically it's a screen where I'm going to describe to you what you're seeing. So on the top in use, this is the, the result of what SCC 410 is giving me. And then also you can see what SCC 410 is reading in the lawn side as from the lawn sensor as well as the Modbus sensor. Okay. And in the middle of giving you a, um, basically a chart trace, it's a live trace. So you can see as well as these two dials on the right hand side where it shows you temperature and humidity, okay? So just to show you the gateway functionality, let me just minimize the catalyst in the back here so it's more clear here, okay. So um, <clears throat> what I'm gonna show you is just uh, what Catalyst is doing in the background, Catalyst as well as the 410 basically, it's the 410 control is doing in the background is, I'm telling it right now to use the lawn sensor, so what it's doing is it's sending the lawn data you can see to the in use box here all right so now i'm going to tell it okay send me the modbus data instead of the lawn data so you can see we'll take this and put it in here so you can see this is all all the data that you see on the screen is all being generated by the 410 so you can see how powerful it could be to mix and match different data from different systems and um, you know like i said and perform some logic on it or send it to the other, other systems and it's, this is all happening in the small uh, 410 there. Okay so that was Modbus you know as we uh, release other protocols for the 410 you can see you can have backend that's coming soon there's other protocols coming so um, 
you know, you can rest assured that the investment you make in the 410 and the 400 series controllers is going to be a, a long lasting one because we're developing very, very cool features that are coming soon. So uh, if I choose backnet, it's all going to go to zero, as you can see here quickly. So it went to zero because it's not implemented in the 410 right now. But once it's implemented, you can see that many different protocols can be mixed and matched within the 410. Okay. I'm going to use the minimum. So <clears throat> let's see in this case what's going to happen. What's the minimum here? So between these two, the minimum would be this guy. So you can see it's 76.8, 76.78. So that's what it's using. And then the minimum humidity is 39. So let me just just touch the uh, sensor on the lawn sensor so it increases. So you can see the lawn sensor is going up. 83 85 but since I choose the minimum you can see it's using the Modbus temperature sensor um, 76.87 in the resultant okay so I can choose maximum that's what it will do or I can choose average and these are just some minimal um, functionality that are programmed in the 410 you can make it as complex as you want or as simple as you want but Mainly this was to show you, um, you know, the um, gateway functionality that's built in as a standard in the 410. Another quick thing I want to show you is how quickly 410 is passing information. So this is a random functionality I program the 410. You can see how quickly it's sending that uh, data to the, you know, the third system. So it's very quick. Okay. Our... Um, Contact information is going to be coming up shortly in the end of this video. Please drop us a line. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them for you. Okay? Thanks and see you soon.